Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about a ENT topic called pharyngitis. Pharyngitis refers to the inflammation of pharynx. The causes of pharyngitis. Pharyngitis is caused by viral bacterial fungal and other factors. Out of them, the viral is the most common. Viral factors will include rhinovirus, Influenza, para-influenza, you can see rhinovirus, influenza, para-influenza, measles, chickenpox, coxaxi virus, herpes simplex virus, infectious mononucleosis, cytomegalovirus. So guys, the virals, viral is the most common cause. This is the most common. In them, you can see the rhinovirus which causes common cold, influenza, para-influenza, measles, chickenpox, coxaxi virus, herpes simplex, infectious mononucleosis and cytomegalovirus. Now you move on to the bacterial types. In the bacterial streptococci which belongs to group A beta hemolytic streptococci. This is the most important one. Streptococci which belongs to group A beta hemolytic streptococci. Why is it important? It is because it has shown its importance in causing other diseases such as rheumatic fever and uh, glomerulonephritis. So this is the most important one and then the others are diphtheria and gonococci. So under bacterial streptococci, diphtheria, gonococci, two cocci cocci, you can see streptococci, gonococci and the other one is diphtheria. Hope it is clear. Then we move on to the fungal causes. Under fungal it is candida albicans and chlamydia trachomatis. Candida albicans and chlamydia trachomatis. The miscellaneous are very rare, the parasitic one that is toxoplasmosis. Toxoplasmosis, the parasitic one is very rare in causing acute pharyngitis. Most common are viral, then comes bacterial, under bacterial streptococci, most important one. Then fungal, then rarely is the parasitic one, toxoplasmosis. This is about the etiology of acute pharyngitis. Who caused this acute pharyngitis? These viruses, bacteria, fungals, fungus and these miscellaneous parasitic ones that is toxoplasmosis are the ones who cause the acute pharyngitis. Now we move on to the clinical features. What the patient presents with. It is occurring in different grades of severity. So the pharyngitis could be in the mild grade, moderate or severe grade or very severe. Starting with a mild grade of infection, it starts with discomfort in the throat. So guys, you see, uh, you see here it's very mild. It is just a discomfort in the throat. Then malaise. That is nothing but the restlessness, uneasiness which the patient experiences during any disease. The malaise, low grade fever. Fever, but which is of a low grade. In the mild infection, low grade fever. Then locally, you see the pharynx is going to be congested. You see the pharyngitis, itis, it is an inflammation. So, uh, the thing that is congestion will be seen. And lymphadenopathy is absent. Since it is of a mild grade, lymphadenopathy is absent. The general symptoms like discomfort, malaise, fever is found and pharynx is going to be congested. This is about the mild symptoms. Then you see the moderate and the severe types. In the throat, there is pain in the throat. Dysphagia, that is the swallowing is going to be uh, very uh, painful, difficult and difficult swallowing. Odinophagia is painful swallowing. Dysphagia is a difficult swallowing. Difficulty in swallowing the food, headache, malaise, high fever. You see, this is the difference here. Low grade fever in mild types, high fever in the severe types and the moderate types. So you see the uh, systemic symptoms like headache and fever, malaise. Whereas uh, locally what's happening, there is pain in the throat and dysphagia. The next, the pharynx will show erythema, exudate, that is the pus coming out 
and enlargement if the tonsils and lymphoid follicles on the posterior pharyngeal wall are involved so guys you can see here i'll show you a picture ha huh, here you see this is anterior wall posterior wall and this is the tonsil and here the lymphoid follicles are going to be involved and there is enlargement of the tonsil when there is enlargement of the tonsil and on the posterior pharyngeal wall there is the lymphoid follicles are also enlarged you can see the lymphoid follicles this is what they are speaking about in the moderate and severe types the lymphoid follicles enlargement of the tonsils and the lymphoid follicles which is present on the posterior pharyngeal wall in the very severe conditions there is edema of the soft palate and uvula with the enlargement of the cervical nodes you can see edema of the soft palate starting here sorry the soft palate you can see the posterior wall then upper the soft palate there is edema and the uvula is also edematous this is what they are saying about in the most severe cases then there is enlargement of the cervical lymph nodes as well difficult to differentiate between the bacterial and viral on the clinical examination uh it's really difficult to differentiate whether it is a bacterial pharyngitis or the pharyngitis is caused by a virus generally the viral infections are going to be milder and they are accompanied by rhinorrhea and hoarseness whereas the bacterial ones are very severe you can see here in the viral infections they are, the viral will be much milder whereas the bacterial ones are going to be severe being milder in uh, action they are going to produce rhinorrhea and hoarseness of the voice will be there whereas the bacterial gonococcal are mild and even asymptomatic uh, so guys you can see here viral they are saying on one hand they are mild whereas the bacterial also can be mild if it is caused by gonococcal virus and in some cases it can be so mild that it can be asymptomatic as well okay now you can see here the streptococcal pharyngitis and the viral pharyngitis normally in the if it is a pus uh, that is caused by the bacteria the pus and the exudate will be found whereas in the viral the exudates won't be found by this you can differentiate this is caused by bacteria whereas this is caused by the virus then we move on to the diagnosis how do you diagnose the culture of a throat swab for the bacterial pharyngitis the culture will detect 90% of a group a streptococci in case of the bacterial pharyngitis when you take the culture when you grow the microorganism 90% of the cases of pharyngitis is caused by group a streptococci group a beta hemolytic streptococci which i told you in the previous slide most important uh, bacteria then you come to the diphtheria cultured on the special media the swab from the suspected case of gonococcal pharyngitis should be cultured immediately without delay so the moment you take the culture uh, the swab from the gonococcal pharyngitis that swab have to be cultured without any delay the failures to get any bacterial growth will suggest that the viral pharyngitis has happened so when you don't get any bacterial growth in your culture media it will indicate that it is a viral pharyngitis this is how you're going to diagnose first the culture of a throat swab then the culture will show 90% of the strep, uh, group a streptococci then diphtheria can also be cultured in special media then you see the sp suspected cases of gonococcal they have to be cultured immediately without any delay then if the bacterial growth is not there it shows that it is virus okay the general measures we come to the treatment bed rest plenty of fluids intake and a warm saline gargles or the pharyngeal ir uh, irrigations and analgesics should be given it is going to be painful in uh, severe cases if there is congestion and everything if the tonsils are swollen the lymphoid follicles are swollen it is going to be really painful so analgesic should be given then the saline gargles warm saline gargles and plenty of fluids and bed rest is recommended then you see if the local discomfort in the severe cases can be relieved by lignocaine viscus before the meals to facilitate the swallowing so whenever the person takes the lignocaine viscus it's kind of uh, it is going to facilitate the swallowing 
just before the meals it will reduce the burning and the pain what the person feels this is under the treatment thank you hope acute pharyngitis is clear if you like my video hit the like button and subscribe